Hi everyone, my name is Winona. I am a grateful believer in Jesus Christ. You know, I am so grateful for just the victories that he has brought in my life over, over the years. Even before I knew him, he was giving me victories, bringing me to him. God was leading me down this path to Jesus. And so I am so grateful for that. Um, I'm also the leader of Busted Knuckles, which is an adult recovery ministry that's out of Roadhouse Biker Church, which is located in San Bernardino, California. Hey, if you guys are in the area, tonight is Wednesday. We have our Busted Knuckles meeting, which is the adult recovery ministry. Our meeting starts at 630. It is in what we call the awesome room at the church. Um, the address is 255 West Benedict Street, and that's in San Bernardino, California. If you're in the area, I'd love to have you join us for, for recovery. Everybody needs recovery. Everybody needs to restore the life that, that God wants us to have. And so this, this recovery ministry is more like a restoration ministry that we restore our lives back to how God wanted it to be. Amen. So we have a great devotional today. It is Jesus talking directly to us out of the book of Luke. But before we get started, let's give thanks to God. Dear Heavenly Father, we are just so grateful to you, Father. You are such an awesome God. You have created this world for us, this beauty that we get to look at every day. And Father, I just pray for eyes that see your beauty, ears that hear your voice, a heart that is open to you, Father. I pray this for all of us, for all of us watching this video and their families, Lord. I just pray for your blessings on them, Lord. I pray for our country. Um, continue, please, Father, to lead our, our leaders from the very top to the, to the lowest little community government, Father God. I pray that your hand, your will is in each and every decision that is made. So, Father, thank you for the freedoms that we have living here in America. We're grateful for that. And, Father, I just pray that each of us remember when this country was developed, that it was developed with you at the realm. So, Father, thank you so much. In your son's name, amen. Amen. So, like I said, today we are in the book of Luke, and it is a red-letter day. Jesus is talking directly to us. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. It's Luke 18, and it's verses 10 through 14. Two men, and this is Jesus again talking, two men went to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a, dense, at a distance. He would not even look, at, look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you, this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Amen. That, that's, you know, I love this. I love that. So in our devotional, it is titled, A Humble Heart. And that tax collector that we just read about, that is a humble man. He realizes, I'm a sinner. I am a sinner, Father. You know, please forgive me. He is a humble, a humble man. Like Jesus said, he couldn't even look up. Whereas the Pharisee stood, I'm sure his hands were raised and proclaiming as loudly as he could his prayer. There's no humility in that. There's not a humble heart in that Pharisee right there. A lot of pride, a lot of arrogance right in that, what that Pharisee prayed. Unfortunately, it was a very self-righteous Pharisee there. So let's read what the Life Recovery Devotional has to say. It is step seven, we're day seven, and it's called A Humble Heart. After examining ourselves closely, as we have done in step four, five, and six, we may feel cut off from God. Considering the scope of what we've done, we may feel unworthy to ask God for anything. Maybe our problem behaviors are despised as the lowest kind of evil by those whom we consider respectable. 
we may struggle with self-hatred, our genuine remorse may cause us to wonder if we dare approach God to ask for help. We are welcome to come to God even when we feel this way. Jesus told this story, and again I'll read it again. Two men went to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee, and the other was a despised tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed this prayer. I thank you, God, that I am not a sinner like everyone else. For I do not cheat, I do not sin, I do not commit adultery. I'm certainly not like that tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I give you a tenth of my income. But the tax collector, again, he stood at a distance and dared not even lift his eyes to heaven as he prayed. Instead, he beat his chest in sorrow, saying, Oh God, be merciful to me, for I am a sinner. I tell you, this sinner, not the Pharisee, returned home justified before God. And again, that reading was from Luke 18, 10 to 14. Jesus told it like it was. Yeah, okay, that Pharisee, he's wise and... and well, not really wise. He's educated. He knows how to put on a, a presentation to make himself look good. That was, that was his whole uh, goal when he went to pray. Tax collectors were among the most despised members of the Jewish society. Pharisees, on the other hand, commanded the highest respect. So Jesus purposely chose this illustration to show that it doesn't matter where we fit in society's hierarchy, okay? Whether you are the lowest of low or the highest of high, it doesn't matter where you fit in there. It's the humble heart that opens the door for God's forgiveness. So that tax collector, that despised tax collector had that humble heart. He realized that, yeah, I, I'm a sinner. God, please. Whereas the Pharisees, thank goodness I am not like these evildoers. So the, the Pharisee wouldn't even admit that he had sins in his life. That's bad. So as we humbly seek God each day, we're going to discover the mercies that he has for us. Amen. So I just wrote on here about the Pharisee. Self-righteousness is dangerous. It leads to pride. It causes a person to despise others and prevents us from learning anything from God. We need God's mercy every day. So don't let pride in your achievements cut you off from God. That pride is going to separate you from God more and more and more. So don't let that happen. Um, you know, we don't want to, in our recovery, we need people. We need fellowship. And if we begin to despise and think ourselves higher than that person that's sitting in the meeting next to you, you are getting further and further from God and you are cutting yourself off from the fellowship that you need in your recovery. So remember, a humble heart is a good thing. It's a good thing when you fearfully hand over all the broken parts that we have that you know we're, we're talking in step seven about removing our shortcomings step four five and six we were working on the inventory talking to God and another person asking God telling him I'm ready to get rid of those defects of character and then in step seven we ask him to remove our shortcomings so to do this we need to have a humble heart to admit that we have those defects to admit that we have those shortcomings Amen. So pray on it. Ask for that humble heart so that you can honestly and fearfully give those broken parts that we all have to God. Let him take care of them. One at a time, he's going to take them away. But you have to admit that they're there. So that means humbling yourself and saying, yes, Father, I have a problem with this. Please help me get rid of it. That's what it's all about. It's a simple prayer. Help me, God. It's all we got to do. He's just waiting to hear from you. So, hey, you guys have a great day today, and we will talk at you tomorrow.